What is good? It's your boy Roy. It's another episode of Sync Gems. It's a unique episode, actually. Why is it a unique episode? Because it's the first one I'm recording and I'm committed on putting in video, which I'm just talking to a camera. It's hella weird. And I'm looking at myself right now. It's pretty weird, but I'm gonna do my best. It's still a bit grainy maybe behind me. Uh, I'm a beginner YouTuber, but um, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I had a really a few really interesting thoughts um, in today's mastermind. And because we didn't have a guest episode this week, which I'll get into in a bit, why and how this whole thing happened. Um, I am going to get into a few things that we also talked and touched on in the mastermind. Uh, so shout outs to the people who are coming and showing up to the masterminds. First of all, y'all are making my day. Um, before we um, hit this, please make sure uh, to follow the podcast wherever you listen to it and give it a thumbs up or a um, five star rating on Apple Podcast or Spotify. This really helps me. And we're already above 50 in, um, in Spotify, which is really cool. And yeah, and I'm, I'm just looking forward to see the feedback that comes in aside from the ones you all send me. Um, I'm looking forward to see it in the actual Apple podcast page or things like that because it helps other people see the podcast and understand that it's actually a dope podcast. So without further ado, myself and me, Roy Matz. So I've had a thing where I am, um, I'm not a flaky person. I am a pretty stand-up guy, um, so to speak. But sometimes things just somehow don't make it in real time. So when I am, mm -mm, to me, it comes when I have uh, meetings sometimes that it just somehow pops out of my mind and I don't show up. Um, and this has happened to me with podcast guests and with precious people that I do not want to not show up for. So a few weeks back, actually more than a month ago now, two months ago, I think, uh, I missed I missed a call with a guest. And I told this guest, listen, this is not cool. From now on, anytime... I miss a call, um, specifically a call for the podcast, I'm going to donate 200 bucks to a cause of the guest's choice. Okay, so time moves. And we're going we're gonna to talk about this too. And just like the reason I did it and all that. Um, but we'll move back to it. And a few days back, I miss a call with... Uh, the guest who we're going to have next week. Um, and I tell him, he, he was super sweet. He was super nice. He said, man, don't worry about it. It's all good. But I told him, hey, I am donating 200 bucks because I've committed myself to this. And I've given my word to myself and I'm going to do it. So he chose a cause and I, um, I donated to a dog shelter uh, here in Bali, which I'm going to be uh, doing more of. But what I want to get into is accountability. And that was something that I do have in my life, but maybe I don't have it enough. So I decided to put this forward. And why did I do it aside from accountability? Um, this also aligns with my goals, low key. This year, I've uh, decided I want to donate at least at least two grand of my income uh, that comes in f 
from whatever um, and I want to donate it to causes like dog shelters and um, cleaning the oceans and things like that, that I'm into. And I'm going to do that this year. And I'm, I'm, it doesn't mean I'm going to miss every guest, 10 guests for that, but I'm going to, to start putting my money where my mouth is, if that makes sense. So now I feel like there is more to uh, um, what I'm doing, aside from myself and my income and my selfish needs that uh, are being met. Like I'm, I'm in my beautiful studio in Bali right now, and it's a beautiful space. And I've decided that this year I want to give more. So aside from it keeping me accountable, it also aligns with my goals. So I think there's a first takeaway uh, uh, for me is if you're trying to keep yourself accountable and the accountability that you're keeping is not aligned with your goals, then maybe you should choose a different thing to be accountable for. It's just a suggestion. It's something that I've discovered for myself works way better. Um, yes, there are things that I need to keep myself accountable for that I don't want to do, like taxes, like um, financial sheets and, and, and shit like that. But you know what? In the end of the day, I'm happy I, I, I did it after I did it. That being said, uh, aside from the things that are musts that we have to have to do, there are things that just elevate us as humans. And I feel like being on time and being and showing up for uh, the people that I am going to be on a podcast with is a very important thing. And if I happen to forget, then my pocket will feel it. Because 200 bucks is for some, for some person, it's nothing for me. Uh, it, it is, it is, I do feel it in my pocket. And, um, and this week it came out as a bit of a, a sad thing because I was planning on uh, um, chipping in for a track that, that my friend wanted mixed. And that came to uh, fruition. The fact that I had to donate, I had to keep myself accountable. And also I'm f going to, to, I'm booking a bunch of flights. So it, that didn't align financially for me. Um, but I've set a rule that if something happens like that and I don't show up, then I have to show up financially and step up and donate that money. Mm. A thing that's been really um, messing with me in the past few weeks was this voice in my head um, that is telling me that I am not doing enough or that I don't have enough tracks out there or that I uh, am not at the place that composer X is, which is <laughs> probably most of the composers that are on this podcast are at. And it, it makes me feel really weird um, and lowers my frequency and my energy. And I wanted to actively do something because I, I started to feel a burnout. I really started to feel a burnout within myself. And I was like, no way I want to feel this uh, uh, as consistently as I do. So um, I did what anyone one would do. I went to an island. I just sailed to an island, a different island uh, from Bali. And um, I sat uh, with a book that I randomly started reading by Michael Zinger um, that is called The Untethered Soul. Um, and it's a beautiful book. And it talks about the I and how um, basically in the first chapters, he presents the voice in our head, which is basically like an annoying roommate that if I were to hear somebody talk like the voice in my head, I would think they are completely mad. But 
the sad thing is that this voice is actually in my head. And I don't give it the attention I want to give it. I don't, I don't address it the way that I want to address this voice because I let it take me down. So that voice tells me you're not doing enough. You're not making enough. You are uh, not as good as this composer. You are not as good as that rapper. You are not. Uh, uh, um, you are not wealthy as this person. You are not getting the six-figure deal that you set up. You are. You're nothing. Like a lot of the times, you know. I and 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 sitting with it is not easy. Um, it's it's depressing to be honest. So. What I did in the island is I started reading this book and it talks about how being able to recognize this voice and talk with it and and see and see that acknowledge it for what it is. It's just the voice that's speaking. And is it me? Is it who I truly am? And is it elevating me? So I was uh, sitting at around 6, 6 a.m. at the beach meditating. And suddenly I see a lady with a dog passing by. And I'm, I'm a dog freak to whoever knows me. And I'm like, she's not walking her dog right. She's not, uh, like the voice goes, she's not walking her dog right. She's not doing the right things. She's uh, um, uh, um, she's calling his name a bunch of times, like all these thoughts just like start rushing in it. And I'm telling you, it's the most meditative place I can go to. There's a reason I went to the specific island. It's just the most, the quietest place. And then uh, it hit me that it's the voice. So I'm like, who is saying that? Like I literally ask it in my head, who is saying these things? And what happens is usually there's no answer and the world keeps going and the thoughts shut off because I've recognized them and I understood that it's not who I am and who I choose to be, but these are mechanisms that I've gotten somehow, somewhere. And uh, what happened next was pretty amazing. After that, I'm, I'm sitting in meditation and I'm realizing that this voice is just telling me all these things and like, the surf's really bad. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, you should have, you should have stayed with, with, uh, with, uh, with your dog and your girlfriend in Bali and la 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 and all these thoughts. And suddenly I start feeling, um, tingling in my feet, which I usually do. It's like a pain that I have to, to move to, to stop it. Um, and I start feeling the tingling and the pain uh, in my feet and something really interesting happened. I feel the pain and I feel my feet and I feel the tingling and then I'm asking myself, are you the person who's, am I feeling that, who is feeling this tingling? And I asked it again and again and again. And after about one minute, one and a half minute, who's feeling this pain? The pain stops. And it's never happened to me. Usually I have to straighten my feet and I feel this pain for around two to five minutes uh, until it goes away. And actually it doesn't enable me to stand up because it feels so weird. But long story short, I, I've asked this question and the pain stops. Then I start crying, like literally tears in my eyes going down. And I'm like, whoa, I'm in much more control than what I thought. And think about it, you know, like how many times has the voice in your head told you off something that you probably should have gone for? To me, a lot. For me, it's it's a voice that doesn't stop. So I guess what I want you to take from this is be able to listen to yourself. And what do I mean by that? Okay, it sounds super cliche, listen to yourself. Every Okay, Roy, cool, thank you. Um, but 
when you feel like shouting at someone or when you feel like when you feel like that person who honked at you is doing the wrong thing, are you letting this voice guide your next decision? Or are you connecting to who you really want to show up as? And a lot of people get sucked into this voice and me, me too, me too. So that's what I mean by listen to yourself. Um, in, in harder situations, which I've been to a lot lately, like a lot has been happening in my life, things that I can talk about, things that I cannot talk about, but a lot has been happening. And I've been questioning my self-worth. And then I had to remind myself, man, you literally made over 30 grand last year, uh, f- between 30 to 50 grand from music last year. Um, and as I was talking to, my, to my, my, my friend, telling him that, um, he was telling me, oh my God, I, I got it all wrong. How come you're making that? And to me, when he said that, um, he's working a lot with uh, reality right now. And I'm telling him, man, like, I got it all wrong. You're working with with reality TV. It's it's awesome, and it's it's a lot of the times it, it gives more royalties than other other places. So like you got something figured out, I got something else figured out. For me last year, it wasn't a royalty year, but it was uh, I got lucky and had a bunch of albums with companies that paid me, um, and I did a few ad gigs that paid me, and 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 that kind of accumulated and and created this this income this five figure income for me which i'm so grateful for but i had to remind myself this when i was like man like look at this guy killing it killing it i see people like like vo killing it vo williams amazing i see people like um what's an elf oh, damn i'm blanking on this dude that works with oh beacon light i see him killing it like on shows nonstop. I'm recognizing his his music on on shows and I'm like damn damn when do I get to 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 say all these things um and then I I have to remind myself man like uh, uh, friends are actually hitting you up about placements that you got like it's happening it's starting to happen that's what the deepest me is saying but the voice a lot of the time doesn't let that come through because it wants to create noise in my head. And that's pretty frustrating at times, but I feel like being able to to connect to how I want to show up has really helped me and it's helping right now to guide me through my uh, this decision, a bit of a hump phase I'm going through, like what's next? How do I make this a better year than last year? How do I how do I create more consistent stuff this year? Um, a lot of questions are coming on, and I have to remind myself: you're in a great place. You are creating community. You have amazing people listening to this sh- this this thing that I've created. People are actually tuning in, and it's it, it is crazy to me um, that people actually liked to listen to me for 20 minutes, talk about this kind of stuff. Um, But you know what? If I listen to the real voice in my head, it's also telling me that I listen to this kind of stuff, you know? So there must be another human in the world that listens to the same stuff. Um, Another thing I I wanna touch is mm, donating and Act of Kindness, and there's a wonderful podcast with uh, Ryan Holiday, and he brings on Tim Ferriss. And I'm just, I'm just gonna paraphrase a tiny bit from it, but what they essentially say is, if you don't give a percentage of your income when you're broke to people in need, or doing a little bit, a tiny bit, when you're when you're maybe in a less financially amazing situation, then you're not gonna do it when you're hella rich too. So start now. Um, And 
that hit me. That hit me hard. And I want to show up as that person who, who gives, even though I'm not in the maybe top uh, uh, like six figure income yet, but I want to give back. So aside from uh, giving a portion of the income, I'm going to start a Patreon, which I am going to allocate um, a percentage of to to um, for me the things that are most important for me are are dog shelters and and the environment. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start with these. But if you all have different suggestions to what you would like to 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 um, you would like me to give a percentage to, then you're more than welcome to tell me because I know there are some amazing causes. Perhaps we'll do like a month where we donate to each one of these causes. So um, let's see. Yeah, and, and, and another thing that it connects to is, is little acts of kindness. Little acts of kindness go such a long way. For me, um, here in Bali, it's really easy for me to do these things because uh, most, people, most people here are not very wealthy. And even if I give somebody uh, like a, a three dollar tip in the petrol station, like um, it's 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 rupiah here, so it's fifty k, um, and it's ten meals for them sometimes. So like by me giving them fifty k, I am maybe uh, um, giving him food for a day for his family. Who knows? Um, so. For me, I, I would say I, I, it's 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 easier for me, but I feel like doing these little things opens you up to being in the mindset of a giver, of somebody who is abundant and abundantly giving as well. So, yeah, these are the random thoughts that I've had um, in in the last few days. I. I just want to thank the people who are showing up for the mastermind. Special shout out to Alex and to to Ian, uh, who were um, who just gave me all the ideas to speak about today. If y'all are listening, um, I want to shout out. Um, who do I want to shout out? I want to shout out um, my dear friend Jeremy, which I love, um, and and is starting to do amazing things this year. I want to shout out, who do I want to shout out? I don't know. Um, Kadan, which is uh, always hitting me up about this podcast and always um, really cheering me on to keep going. Love you. Um, You know, uh, man, I wonder if these people are listening, but like Greg and, and, um, and Zigurd, you guys are, amazing and have been an inspiration for me so i'm shouting you all out and i'm sending you all the love and the hugs and that's it that's it um if y'all have any questions to me you want to hit me up whatever i'm pretty approachable in socials linkedin and instagram are the main ones that i'm using um if there's a guest y'all want to see let me know and sync gems episode who the fuck knows but we out peace